Welcome along to AFL Week 1 of the Finals. Russell Barwick alongside Mark Dragasevic, the former Richmond man who's just running around town with a big smile on his face because the Tigers yeah. are in, at least for one week. Can yeah. they make it two? We'll wait and see. But let's have a look at the first week of the Finals, Dragger and yeah. Hawks and Sydney on Friday night. It's almost part two yeah. after last week. And I thought Sydney were good. There's a question mark about Jeddah and also Tippett making a return. But they will get Hanbury, they will get Smith back, and there will not be a Buddy Franklin there. Yes, there won't be a Buddy Franklin because, again, he's uh, another rough, rough conduct charge. Um, just a silly thing. Just a end. silly thing. It's it was just dumb. Gonna, I mean, it's it was them. late. To, uh, forget about it being high. There was no attempt to tackle or smother. It was just dumb. Yeah, it was. And, uh, look, they're going to be without him. They have proved they can win without him. So, uh, for mine, the worrying sign for the Swans is that the Hawks, I think, were only about 80%. And uh, they just chipped away. They mm. wore them down. Never looked <sighs> like they were going to lose, did it? No, they didn't. So the Swans have got to get back their spread, their hard spread. And uh, with Hanbury coming back, that's going to help them. Who do you think will win, though? I, I think Hawthorne will win the game. Uh, I just think they're too good over the, over the ground. And, uh, but if anyone can get up when their backs are against the wall, it's going to be the Swans. If anyone can flip the switch, uh, yeah. it's, it's probably the Swans. But you get the feeling that Hawthorne are a team on a mission uh, after losing last year. Geelong yeah. and Fremantle at Simmons Stadium. Uh, the Dockers rested uh, everyone last week. Can they bounce back or is that going to work against them? That was interesting, wasn't it? Mm. Um, but... Uh, down in Geelong, finals down in Geelong, the folk are going to come out and uh, come out of the woodwork, they're excited. I, uh, I think the Cats just, they, there's always a fiery encounter. I'm hoping Stevie J and Ballantyne just uh, have a, bit of, have a, bit, of each a other. bit of a niggle, but uh, Freo for mine, I, I just don't think they'll uh, be happy about playing down there, to be honest. They would have much rather Eddie has. I don't and... think their record is uh, anything uh, to, to be excited about. And Geelong, again, look like a team that have got something on their mind this year. They've really been solid and they've really been consistent. And yeah. they deserve the home final, so yeah, I tend do. to agree with that one. Is there an upset in Collingwood at Port Adelaide on Saturday night with the power getting, uh, well, Hartlett back, and he's a big one, and a couple of others as well? No, I think I think Collingwood actually have just tipped their straps. If, I reckon for the first time they've got a real selection dilemma um, with a few talls. Do they go tall? Do they go small? Port for mine in their last five games, I think, other than GWS and Melbourne, have given up the most points. So yeah. uh, that's really worrying heading into the finals. Uh, they let the game slip last week. Yeah, no, I think Collingwood are uh, just hitting their straps at the right time. Yeah, I was a bit disappointed with that uh, fade out by the power as yeah. well. Tigers and Carlton, there's no tickets available. MCG, sun will be shining Sunday afternoon at the footy. What about this one? Oh, as I said be... uh, one time before, I said, put in Jezza and Royce Hart and uh, Nichols and maybe KB and you'd, you'd circa yeah. 1980. Absolute classic. This is going to be uh, Carlton for whatever reason they are there. Uh, you can't argue with that. Um, Jeez, there's going to be 90,000. I wish I was going to be one of them. Mm -hmm. I heard yesterday that 20,000 versus 8,000 members' tickets have already been sold. So the Tigers are going to be the coming The Tigers out of the have woodwork. come out of the woodwork. Can they win a game? Because if they lose, they're out. Yeah, uh, I just hope the pressure doesn't get to them. Um, I think they're actually ready for it. They've got my mate Chrissy Newman coming back. He'll be uh, 232 games. He's going to play his first final. And Jackie Rewalt will be back too. Yeah. And maybe Judd for Carlton. But I think uh, Richmond have actually built themselves up and are ready this year. I reckon uh, the, the mullet in the middle is uh, your key. If Big Ivan can uh, yep. work something out during the course of the game and he can dominate in the middle and the clearances and uh, some of the little blokes can get around the ball. Delidio, of course. Cochin yep. will be there. If these guys can get it forward, I think... Uh, the forwards, like Jack Rewell, can kick well, a big I think score. Also, don't underestimate uh, Jakey King and Shane Edwards yep. coming back. They're going to be different from the side that uh, lost in round 21. And, uh, and Aaron make Edwards, a... he's, a, he's a, a real yeah. get for you at the so moment. So that'll make a big difference. OK, there's the tips on the screen from uh, Mark Dragosevich. Going the favourites in all of the games, Hawthorne, Geelong, Collingwood and the Tigers to win the big one on Sunday afternoon.